Hello everyone, this is Joseph K. Welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of the Abyss 100%. <clears throat> In the last part, we made it to the Isle of Ferris, which apparently used to be a marketplace back in the days of Hod, before, you know, the Hod War came and the tidal wave washed this town away. And there's no one here anymore. And I was reflecting that I think in every single Tales of game I've ever played, there was always a town that was abandoned or ended up being abandoned. And I was thinking on that. Tales of Fantasia, I don't remember what the town was called, but it's uh, the one town that was before that was that worked as like a thoroughfare between like the one part of the island next to where you got the sylph sprite spirit from and the next part which would take you to Valencia I think it's what it was called so now I'm over here thinking I know where the abandoned area is in uh, Tales of Grace's F uh, Tales of Berseria I know the abandoned area there. I have not come to an abandoned area in Tales of Hearts R yet, but I'm also, like, not that far in that game. And I'm trying to think of the abandoned area if there is one in Tales of Vesperia. And I don't know. And I can't even think of what in Tales... Yes, I can. I don't remember what the town's called, but I know where it's at, where there's, like, an abandoned, like, area. And Tales of Rise. But anyways, now we want to go in this door. Okay. We are introduced to another gimmick. As Luke would tell us. This floor looks weak. I bet any impact would break it. There are two ways you can break this floor. You can use Mew Attack, which is preferred, or you can use Mew Wing, which I don't recommend. Using Mew Wings will make it so you can't get a couple treasure chests. So what we want to do, let's switch over to Mew Attack and get nice and centered on it and break the floor. Now, if you would have used you wings you would have fallen through this section of the floor as well anyways examine this for a rebirth now and then come over here and we get another apple gel not that I really need those and it's abandoned be because you can't get through this door so now I'm going to show you doing Mew wings So yeah, I guess in like every single Tales of game, there's some sort of abandoned area. Um. Right, right, that's what we want to fight you. Because we are now back at the uh, state where fight everything you see. And now we want to go out this door. Come over here and we get a magic lens. Not that we need that, but you know, it's there. Go over here some more, and there will be another exit to go south. Hit the lever. And get a red lavender. And then, since this is the only door we can go through, let's do it. Now, I think in here we're going to get a new enemy. I think. 
Well, since I didn't leave that battle in, we did not get a new enemy there. Anyway, just keep going east. I don't know where that enemy is down there. Like, this, this is almost reminding me of the music in Wild Arms 3. I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird. All right, now here we have another one of those, uh, puzzles. We'll get that one later. Then, I think we want to go down and exit to the south. Oh yeah, this is the room with the where you should have a new enemy. Piece of cake. Yeah, there it is. High Knight Replica. Uh, I don't think you can get anything from the High Knight replica either. No, but that is the second. Oh, yes, you can. You get an Apple Gel from the High Knight replica. That is also the second to last enemy we can find here. And I actually like the next enemy we can get. But yeah, there you go. Uh, again, just focus on the Night Replica. We don't want him using Bonic Arts on us. And then you can probably focus your attentions on the uh, Chimera. I think that might be the next dangerous enemy. Because they can fly and it's big. And I actually think there's a second enemy in this area. Yeah, there it is. Whew. That was tough. All right, and we are in the next area. What is it, Luke? Oh, I was just thinking. It must have been a beautiful town. Yeah, I don't remember much, but there was a big port and the town was always lively. Yeah? The collapse of Hod, the tidal wave. Most of the people probably died without even knowing what had happened. It may have been easier on them that way. Relatively speaking, of course. It must have been horrible for the survivors as well. Nothing would have grown. And all of them were just innocent bystanders. An innocent island, washed away and forgotten. 
An innocent island indeed. Arietta. Arietta? Why are you saying Arietta? Oh yeah, right. Arietta was from Hod. Sorry about that cut. Well, I don't know what the hell happened. I went to go get my laundry, so I put the battle on auto. I came back to almost a game over. The only one still alive was Natalia. Luke was dead. Annis was dead. Jade was dead. I'm like, what What the fuck happened in the couple minutes took me to run downstairs to grab my, uh, switch my laundry over? I think now you just want to go this way. Like, that scene remind me, uh, that reminded me of that one scene in the, uh, I forget which MCU movie it is, but at the end it has Thanos, uh, coming on screen, and he's like, fine, I'll do it myself. That's what it feels like, because I came back and almost had a game over, I'm like, well, then I guess I gotta do this shit myself. So I had to waste life bottles and apple gels and orange gels, and it's just like, how could you guys not do it? You're playing exactly like I do. Or you're supposed to be. Clearly not. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. If you didn't get the game over, that would have sucked. That wasn't bad. I just noticed the difference between the High Knight replica and the regular Knight replica is the High Knight replicas have like these weird like horns on their helmet. All right. Let's go ahead and save this real quick. Hey, who's that over there? Is that Arietta? All right. Well, let's go see what Arietta's up to. I debated fighting those enemies. There's someone here. That voice. Annis! This is my special place. You can't just come barging in. You're not welcome here, Annis. Ferris is your special place? What do you mean? This... This is where I was born. My family all died in the flood. Mommy Liger saved me. I was so lonely, but Van came one day and invited me to join him. He stopped Ferris from sinking and made it into my own private ship. Van and the others have visited several times. They said they'd make this our base. So this was my brother's headquarters. And most likely a facility for Fomagri. If you're talking about a replica machine, then yes, we have one. We need it. After all, Van promised he would recreate my whole city. That's nothing but an illusion. Replicas aren't your family or even a replacement. No, you're wrong. Look at Luke. He's a replacement for Ash. Ion understood me. He even helped Van. The only reason Ion changed was because Annis took over as phone master guardian. You're wrong. Master Van has tricked you. Luke, be quiet. But you betrayed him, Annis! What, are you saying you want that duel here and now? My mediator Largo will decide the place. You can wait to hear from him. I fought for Ion and for Van, but now Ion is gone. I'm going to get revenge. I won't lose. What a fool. She doesn't even realize she's being used. If what Arietta said is true, then we can assume that this is one of Van's facilities. Yes. Let's keep looking. Is that all right, Annis? Yeah. And I think we want to just hang back here... ...to get a skit. Yeah, okay.
How long have I been recording? I'm trying to see if I can put everything in here that I want to do. No, that's not, that's not going to work. All right. So Arietta was raised here by monsters. Yeah, apparently. She got caught up in the tidal wave when she was a baby. Which would still make her like 16 years old. And she just happened to be rescued by a monster. I'm surprised she wasn't eaten instead. Yeah, and by a liger at that. It's really strange because they like eat people. If she was raised by monsters, then how could she speak? Van probably taught her. Yeah, probably. And the original Ion, too. I see. That would help explain her feelings for Ion. And then Van used that poor girl for his own ends. If you could control monsters, you could easily match a human army. That power must have been a temptation for Van. And if he was the one to teach her... He could easily bring her to trust him. Just like he did with me. Win her over. Get her to trust him and use her. Van, how could you? One could say that Arietta benefited from Van's actions. Nothing else. He rescued her. In any case, Van only made use of what was available. We can argue over the propriety of such a move. But he simply chose the best course of action to fulfill his objective. That shows how serious he is. Alright. Now we gotta do is head on up. And we're gonna get a scene. This is Famacree? Impressive. Such a large-scale endeavor operating even now. So, this is where they're making the replicas. Eamon and the others may have been made here, too. Let's shut it down. Perhaps that will help ease the expenditure of Seventh Phonons. Right. I don't think this world needs any more replicas. Even with just me, it's already one too many. Luke. Stop. Why are you doing this? Why do you oppose the birth of our brethren? We will all be given a new place to live upon the heavenly plane. Do not interfere. Are all of you okay with that? It's not like you were born because you were wanted. You're wrong. We were all born because Moe's wanted us. If you say so, Mary. But once your heavenly plane is completed, your originals will all be killed. Why should we care if those who don't accept us are killed? That's barbaric! Without those originals, we... No replicas could be born! So? Now that we have been born, why should we stay beholden to the originals? Luke, you could learn a thing or two from them. <laughs> what? Confidence. That's why Ash gets mad at you. That's why you have trouble with Emperor Peony. You lack confidence. Since when this at, this like confused me when I was replaying this uh, earlier in the week or last week or whatever when I was replaying this I this slide came up I'm like wait a minute trouble with he hasn't had trouble with Emperor Peony ever like where when I mean now since we started playing him he has he, he Emperor Peony even la named one of his uh, rap bigs after him so I I don't I don't get that line. The Ash one, yeah, that makes sense, but he doesn't have trouble with Emperor Peony. Call it a will to live that borders on arrogance. You had it once. You would call us arrogant? Yes, I would. And someday, your own words may be turned right back at you. I wonder if you'll be able to say the same thing then. No. Moses moved ahead with his plan without us.
You promised us a place on the new Hod. The new Hod? So that's Hod? What are we to do? We go to the site of our covenant, the Tower of Rem. Surely Moe's will come for us. But the navigational equipment was destroyed with the Famacri facility. We'll eventually drift ashore if we follow this current. We'll walk from there. Interestingly, it seems like the voice actor for Friggs doesn't keep the monotonous tone that everybody else that's speaking does. Agreed. Spread the word. They're gone. What should we do? Do we just let them go? I can't imagine Moe's taking them in. Well, if it were me, I would certainly cut them off. As long as he has the data, he can make as many replicas as he pleases. So they're simply to be abandoned? In all likelihood. Though I doubt they'll realize that for a while. They still believe in Moe's. So is that island in the sky really hot? If so, then that would make it the replica land that Van envisioned. I guess we'll find out when we get there. It seems risky. But you're right. Okay, let's ask Noel to take us up to that floating island. All right, before we head over there, we want to come in and get some treasures. So just go outside again. I right, come over here to the left to get the Persian boots. I don't know if they are better than the rear boots. They might be. Oh yeah, they are better than the rear boots. Well, let's put those on Luke. Wow, it increases agility by 181. Or 180. And then finally, we come up here to get an hourglass. I don't know if I'll ever use the hourglass in here. I might consider showing it off when we finally complete the Coliseum. But honestly, I can't think of any instances where we would really need the hourglass. But let, what's this sword that's in the ground? Oh no. It's back. But can we defeat that? Find out next time on Let's Play Tales of the Abyss 100%. Uh, this is Joseph K. signing out. Y'all have a great day and keep it real. Later. <laughs>